Hey, this is a quick video showing you how you can fix uProject file association on Windows computers. So I had this problem come up for me today when I reinstalled Unreal Engine 4, uh, version 4.25.3, I believe. And I had previously used Unreal Engine in 2019. And when I installed it, the uProject files had associations by default already. And when you could right click on them, you could build the SLN file, which you see here. These are used for C++ version of Unreal Engine 4. This is a solution file for Visual Studio. And it's really important that you have these files to be able to generate them. For instance, when you upload your code to a repo on GitHub or something and have a gitignore, oftentimes .slns are ignored because you can generate these for different computers and different environments. So it's important to be able to generate this. And normally for Unreal Engine 4 projects, you can just right click on this file and generate it. But like I said, when I opened up Unreal Engine 4 into well, this folder, rather, uh, this file didn't have an association. So I thought I could fix this by opening with and choosing another application and then setting it to always. And I looked for my file and just went right to where I had installed Unreal Engine 4 and getting the executable for the editor, which would be right here. So I tried that out and it launches the project in the editor, which is nice. But if I click here, there's still no generate. So I was a bit confused. I did some research online and found out that there's some work you have to do if this is a problem. And these this threads actually pretty old um, as far as I can tell. So basically you have to go to where you have the Epic Games Launcher installed and then take a file from there and paste it into your Unreal Engine for binaries folder and then double click on the file. That's important because I just pasted it in before, didn't double click on it and it didn't work, but double clicking on it and then trying it again, things worked. So the location that I have the Epic Games Launcher installed is here. And you would just go down to Launcher, Engine, Binaries, Win64, and find the Unreal version selector. Copy that. Once you have that copied, jump on over to the folder where you have Unreal Engine 4 installed, which is here for me, and then go to do the same thing. Engine, Binaries, Win64. And just to show you, there was no Unreal version selector here. Let's go up, show the .exe files. Oops. So if we look through here, there's no Unreal version selector. It has a blue icon. Close out of that. And then just paste that file into here. Double click on this file. It'll go a dialog and hit yes on there. It'll register successfully. Okay, now that that's done, Go back to your U project file, right click on it, open with, choose another app, always use, and look for another app. Look where you had just put that uh, file, right here. And it'll open up the editor right away, that's fine. You can just close that out when it finishes opening it. But if you right click on this now, you can see that we have generate Visual Studio project files. So this is important. So if we were to delete this, uh, there'd be some other code here, file here, if we had just pulled it from our repo, but that SLN file wouldn't be there. You could just right click on this and hit generate video studio project files. And there's our SLN. We'll just show you that the SLN's working. Okay. Can you just open one of these? Let's we'll go to development editor, run the game. So it opens the editor up. And you can see that from the solution file, we have launched the editor.
So that's all. Hopefully this video is helpful to you.